There is a real-life scenario that scientists warn may be hitting Earth. It's called a coronal mass ejection from the Sun. The last time such an event occurred was in 1859, called the Carrington Event, that set telegraph paperwork on fire and gave electrical shocks to telegraph operators. That wave of solar flares made the northern lights visible as far as south as Cuba. But today, if such an event would occur, scientists believe it is likely to make the entire Earth go dark, knocking out the interconnected electrical grid worse than in any doomsday movie we've ever seen. Being hit by the electromagnetic energy equivalent of one billion hydrogen bombs bursting from the sun is nearly unthinkable. Yet in July 2012, a coronal mass ejection, or CME, barely missed the Earth. If such a CME had hit us, we still may not have heard about it on radio or TV because there would be no radio or TV. Virtually all electronic instruments on Earth would likely be fried plunging billions of people in darkness with no sanitation services or electricity for homes or hospitals and no transportation to get food to the masses. Millions, if not billions of people could die from such an event since we have become so dependent on electricity and technology. No computers, no internet, big problem. Some believe such an event would signify that we had entered the Great Tribulation as described in the book of Revelation. Perhaps, but whether it is tribulation with a capital T or a small t, the devastation of a CME would be incalculable, with an estimated financial toll of over $2 trillion on top of the horrendous loss of human lives. Amish people might never know such an event happened, since they have no TV or electricity, and people in third world country, rural villages growing their own food and fetching water from the river might not be affected either. But heaven help the billions of people who live in or near the big cities of this world. But come to think of it, why should heaven help us? The world is currently in such an immoral state that most people, religions and otherwise, value their covenant connection to electricity, technology, militarism, nationalism, socialism, secular humanism, atheism, and religious ritual more than they value having a true covenant relationship with our Creator. Yahweh, the true God revealed in the Torah, Prophets, and Psalms. So isn't it time we get to know the One who made us? Learn more about how to join the covenant family of Yahweh at yadayah.com. And while you're at it, you may want to print out some of the important sections while you still have electricity so you can reread it by sunlight should a CME or an EMP event occur.